Hi everybody and thank you for joining today's webinar. I would like to welcome all of you who have been involved in World Camp today before, but also the newcomers who have dialed in today. We are thrilled by the amount of interest the launch has generated and hope that this presentation will inspire you to engage in the campaign as we walk you through how you can develop and tailor your own World Cancer Day actions. The presentation itself will last around 30 minutes and it will then include a 15 minute Q&A session at the end. Questions can be submitted via the chat box which can be found at the bottom left of your screen. But please feel free to send us your questions at any time during the presentation. I have a colleague sitting with me available to answer them directly in the chat box. However, we will make short interruptions to answer questions along the way if we feel that these can provide useful guidance to the rest of the presentation and to the participants. The presentation will be divided into six main parts. For those of you not familiar with World Cancer Day, I will start with a brief background overview. I will then move into the 2016-2018 campaign, share examples of ways in which you can engage, and acknowledge the key campaign contributors. We will then have the Q&A session and I will wrap up the webinar by providing you with the main contact information for you to get in touch with us. So let's start. World Cancer Day takes place every year on the 4th of February and aims to raise awareness about the disease and press governments and individuals around the world to take action. The primary objective of World Cancer Day is to get as many people as possible talking about cancer around the world on the 4th of February. For those of you who are not familiar, the Union for International Cancer Control, also known as UICC, are custodians of the day. UICC is a leading international non-governmental organization that unites the cancer community to reduce the global cancer burden, to promote greater equity, and to integrate cancer control into the world health and development agenda. The organization was founded in 1933 and is currently based in Geneva, Switzerland. It has 900 members across 155 countries. The members include the world's major cancer societies, ministries of health, research institutes, treatment centers, and patient groups. Our unique profile positions us to work closely with you to make World Cancer Day a truly global event. why World Cancer Day is important. The global cancer epidemic is huge and is set to rise, which you can see on the cancer incidence and mortality graph on screen. These figures show that urgent action needs to be taken to raise awareness about the disease and to develop practical strategies to address the cancer burden. And part of this burden is the increasing disparities between people from different settings across the whole cancer continuum, from prevention to treatment to palliative care. World Cancer Day is a growing initiative and that is why it is crucial to market in any way we can. As many of you may know, World Cancer Day has grown tremendously over the last few years. World Cancer Day 2015 was our most successful event to date, reaching a tipping point that showed that if you're not part of this movement, you are truly missing out. We gathered 10.7 billion opportunities to see, hear, or read about World Cancer Day in 2015, which is almost three times the number for, from 2012. This increase in social media, press, and member engagement demonstrates the potential of the day and has helped guide and shape the new campaign. With a view of greater reach and impact, building on the momentum of our existing networks while strengthening the foundations for individual and public level engagement. So 
Well, on that note, we are pleased that today we are officially launching this new three-year World Cancer Day campaign with the theme, We Can, I Can. Developed through a collaborative process involving the UICC team, our members and our partners, this year and for the next three years, the campaign is about showing the world that we can, I can do something. The campaign explores how, as a collective or as, as individuals, everyone can do their part to reduce the global burden of cancer. Through promoting an action-oriented approach, World Cancer Day is the opportunity to unite around a great cause, raise awareness and take action. And as we are keen to get you engaged in this campaign right away, we have put a little challenge together for you. As you know, part of World Cancer Day's success relies on translations to help make the campaign accessible to as many people around the globe as possible. Last year's materials were translated into 27 languages, so we want to get at least that many this year. You can help us right now by translating the following text in quotation marks in the box on the right-hand side of the slide. World Cancer Day, We Can, I Can, join us on 4th of February 2016. You have until the end of the webinar to submit your answers in the chat box. So please indicate your name and email address so we can recognize your efforts at the end of the presentation. The campaign explores 20 actions that we can, I can take so that more lives are saved, greater equity is achieved in cancer care, and fighting cancer is made a priority at the highest political levels. We have put together some key facts and evidence around each of these actions so that no matter who you are, whether it is a cancer survivor, a co-worker, a cancer organization, a carer, an employer, a student, family, friends, Information is readily available to support and facilitate you to take action. In turn, the visual identity has been developed to encourage and inspire this action. The 2016-2018 World Cancer Day visual identity seeks to support the campaign objective of reminding us that we can all make a difference and have a positive impact in reducing the global cancer burden. The campaign visual assets made up of modular building blocks reflects this empowerment and strength which can be found both individually and collectively. A strong energetic color palette and icons have been used to further enforce this message of hope and positivity while allowing communication with its diverse global audience. In its development, we have put an emphasis on creating a visual identity that is very versatile, modular, and easily adaptable to different applications and media. Members and partners can mix and match assets quite easily, personalizing them to their needs. The visual identity is energetic, bright, and engaging, and it uses both typography and iconography. It is also able to work across different languages. Year on year, we're really making efforts for the campaign to be as widely adaptable and comprehensive as possible. The 2016-2018 World Cancer Day brand will be applied to all campaign materials, including posters, postcards, fact sheets, toolkit for members, toolkit for corporates, website, and social media platforms. All design files will be made available upon request at info at worldcancerday.org. So the main campaign poster, which you can see on the screen, 
has been created in a way that it can be used as it is, co-branded, adapted, edited, and developed further depending on your needs. Two individual campaign posters have also been designed, one related to the weekend and one to the icon parts of the campaign. The posters are already available in English, and we're expecting the French and Spanish ones as well as additional translations very soon. As mentioned, the brand will also be applied to fact sheets. So one fact sheet per key message, 20 in total, are currently being developed and will explore the various areas of the cancer control continuum. The toolkit for members is designed to give guidance on what can be done to mark this important day and provides you with an overview of the flexible tools which can be adapted by you for your use in your own campaigns or events. It contains template materials plus strategic and implementation guidance. We have developed this toolkit and all the template materials with our members and for our members, but you might want to share them with a wider audience. The toolkit for members will be available in English, French, and Spanish in the coming weeks, so keep an eye on worldcancerday.org for any updates. As custodians of the day, UICC coordinates the global World Cancer Day campaign across its entire international network of members and partners. Millions of people are employed by international corporations, and we really believe that each of them can play a major role in disseminating information about cancer inside and outside their businesses. We also believe that corporates should use World Cancer Day to unite their employees around an issue which affects so many. We've adapted the toolkit for members in a version for corporate partners. So please use and share this corporate toolkit with your partners and other corporates which you think could benefit from it. The World Cancer Day website has already been refreshed with the 2016-2018 identity, but in the background is undergoing a major facelift, which will be launched in October this year. On this new website, there will be lots of exciting new features, including the use of an improved map of events, that we have renamed Map of Impact, as it will not only showcase events, but many other things such as materials, and will be much more interactive. Another feature that will be developed is the Wall of Support, showcasing the social media activity around the new campaign theme, and many other features will be displayed. The website will continue being responsive, as for the 2015 one, meaning that it can be more easily browsed regardless of desktop, smartphone, or tablet access. And as already mentioned, all World Cancer Day materials will be available on worldcancerday.org, so please visit the website for regular updates in the coming weeks. We want to spread the World Cancer Day message as far and wide as we can, and one way of doing this is through social media. Make sure to use the World Cancer Day and We Can, I Can hashtags as much as you can from now until World Cancer Day to get the conversation going online. You will also find in the Members Toolkit some ready-made tweets and some great tips for using social media to amplify your World Cancer Day messages. We will also be launching a Thunderclap campaign in December, so keep your eyes open for that as well. In terms of timeline, today, the 4th of September 2015, is the official campaign launch. At the end of September, will be available in French, English, and Spanish on worldcancerday.org, the fact sheets, the toolkits, and the posters. The rebranded website will officially be launched in October 2015 with all the new functionalities that I mentioned before. In October, 
In December 2015, the UICC team in Geneva will get in touch with each of the UICC members and partners to talk them through the 2016 and 2018 campaign and know more about their plans. Our aim is to hear about what everyone is doing and show you how you can take all advantage of World Cancer Day and learn how to use this event as a great opportunity for your organization or your company. The official World Cancer Day media hook and press release will be shared with the UICC members under embargo in January 2016. And World Cancer Day 2016 will of course take place on the 4th of February. So I have a question from uh, Melissa from Miami. Uh, who is asking uh, if the hashtags will be available in other languages such as Spanish? Uh, of course, we will develop Spanish hashtag as we have done in the past, knowing that the materials will be uh, translated into French and English. We will have the French and English and Spanish hashtags available. However, if you want to support us with translations as mentioned before, please feel free to send us your own language translations of the, the official campaign hashtags, which are World Cancer Day and We Can, I Can. Thank you, Melissa, for your question. Just to remind you, if you have any questions along the way, please type them in the chat box, and we will be really pleased to answer them, either in the chat box or I can ask the questions and share the answer with all participants if this is really useful to everyone. We would really love you to support us. So you can see on the screen examples on how you can bring your help. First of all, you can share your plans and activities to mark the day on our map of impact on worldcancerday.org. Everyone is encouraged to share their plans, whether you're launching a report, organizing a fundraising event, or an advocacy activity. We really want the world to know what you're doing, and we really want everyone to encourage others to get online and share it. The most important thing is to mark the day. Every single action has an impact. And remember that the primary objective of World Cancer Day is actually to get as many people around the world talking about cancer on the 4th of February. The map is actually a platform and a great opportunity to show the world all the great work our community is doing to reduce the global cancer burden. As mentioned previously, it will be available in October during the official launch of the rebranded website with all functionalities. Another way to get involved is actually to join our social media campaign, which will be available as well on worldcancerday.org in a few weeks from now. You can also make the materials available in your country or region. Spread the word by helping us with translating the existing campaign materials. There are three different ways to get involved. The first one is to actually send us the translations of the material in text format. The second one is to take care of the translation and the design adjustments. And the third one is actually to deal directly with our translation agency, Global Lingo, for translation and design adjustments. Another way to get involved is to indicate spokespeople we can contact for media requests and interviews and spread the word to your network, for example, through social media. You can also use the official World Cancer Day press release once available in January 2016, but as a reminder, it will be under embargo on the 4th of February, midnight 1, in your time zone. Last but not least, uh, you can financially support the campaign. 
As you may know, World Cancer Day is run and developed on a very limited budget every year by a small team of dedicated professionals. Financially supporting the campaign could help us lead bigger action and have a greater impact for World Cancer Day. I would like to acknowledge everyone who has contributed to the translation challenge. So thank you very much to Leticia Aguia from Mexico and also Alexandra Spernol from Germany, Maria Vognati from Greece, Paulina Jusila from Finland, Suzanne Lempois from the Netherlands. Thank you so much for your contributions. Uh, we also have a question from uh, Jose, uh, who is asking, will there be any materials focusing on access to radiotherapy? Yes, indeed, we will have materials focusing on this. As a reminder, we have produced 20 fact sheets that will be soon available on the website, 10 focusing on the individual aspect and 10 focusing on the collective aspect. And indeed, we will be talking about radiotherapy in these fact sheets. So please keep an eye on worldcancerday.org and you'll be able to find the relevant fact sheets with the search tool on the website and then download the relevant materials. Thank you, Jose, for your question. I have another question from Gino asking if you have to share with us the media impact in each country. This is actually something that we are really interested in because it will help us determine the impact that World Cancer Day had on a global level. We really are looking for KPIs to help us determine the impact we had. And one way is actually to get some information about the media impact in all countries and for all our members. So the more information we are able to get, the more accurate the numbers will be for our report that will be released a month after World Cancer Day 2016. So definitely, if you do have stats and access to uh, interesting media impact data in your countries, please get in touch with us at info at worldcancerday.org and send us your figures so we can add them to our reports. Thank you, Gino, for the question. The YCC works with a committed advisory group for World Cancer Day consisting of key members to plan, prepare, develop, and deliver a range of marketing and communication tools for the campaign. The purpose and responsibilities of the advisory group is to provide input, feedback, and support to develop and roll out the World Cancer Day campaign. They also review World Cancer Day materials and messaging as and when they are developed. Members of the advisory group are invited to participate because of their expertise, interest, and or working knowledge of developing a marketing and communications plan for a global event. So we would really like to take this opportunity today to thank these organizations and their representatives for their efforts. Uh, we have another question now from Satu asking if the press release will be under embargo in January. So yes, as a reminder, the press release will be available mid-January, so approximately two weeks before World Cancer Day, under embargo. So that means that UICC members and partners will access the press release. However, um, you will have to keep it internal as it will not share, be shared officially until the 4th of February, midnight, one minute in your time zone. Thank you for your question, Satu. We would also like to thank our World Cancer Day supporters who financially sustained the 2016 campaign. So thank you to World Cancer Research Fund International, Amgen, Bristol Myers Squibb, and Roche.
So I think that we can now move to the Q&A session of the presentation. Um, you can definitely type your questions in the chat box, and we will be really pleased to answer them. Um, so just please feel free. Uh, I have a question now uh, from Clara asking if we are aware of any consortia in different countries working together to promote World Cancer Day. Uh, at the moment, we don't have a lot of information on plans that um, have been put in place for World Cancer Day 2016. However, we've had in the past collaborations, uh, cross-country collaborations, definitely cross-organizations, um, and also international collaborations between different countries from one same region uh, working together to create events and to maximize the impact and the momentum of World Cancer Day. Definitely. So if this is something that you are interested in, I really encourage you to write us an email at info at worldcancerday.org and then we can give you a bit more information on how this can be organized and give you tips on how to organize such a thing. Definitely. Thank you, Clara, for your question. If you have any questions, this is the right time to share that with uh, the other participants so we can clarify any doubts you might have. So please type the questions in the chat box. Uh, I have another question from Satu asking if it's possible to tweet and share from this day. Definitely, we really encourage you from now on, as the campaign has been officially launched today, to use the official hashtags and share the message on social media about World Cancer Day. You can talk about the new theme, you can direct people to the website, and you can even start sharing your plans if you have ideas on how you're going to mark World Cancer Day, either as an individual, as an organization, as a corporation. Uh, definitely do that. The earlier we share information about the campaign on social media, the more impact we will have on a global level. Uh, I have another question from Roberto in Spain. Do you send any materials or do we need to print them ourselves? Um, so thank you, Roberto, for your question. Actually, we do not send any materials. Everything will be available on the website for download. Uh, you will have print-ready files, so you can actually send them to professional uh, printers. Or we will have electronic version PDFs that you will be able to download and um, have as electronic version repost on your website, on your blogs, on social media, and also print uh, in a non-professional way. On request, we can actually send you design files if you want to customize and personalize materials. This is something we really encourage people to do, is to uh, download the design files from us and add the logo of your organization or change the colors, add graphics, add information, really tailor the materials to your own needs. Um, unfortunately, we do not send any materials um, we only make them available for download on the website. Thank you for your question. Uh, another question from Irina Mosko. What is the idea of the three-year World Cancer Day campaign 2016-2018? Uh, thank you for your question, Irina. Uh, the idea was um, based on the feedback we received from members and partners after a few World Cancer Day. A changing theme every year um, is actually sometimes hard to grasp for organizations who want to plan ahead. And a lot of the feedback received was that maybe having a two-year or three-year campaign would enable member organizations and, and partners to plan ahead and maybe have an evolution over three years of the campaign to be assessed, to be able to assess the impact, and to readjust to their audience, the key messages, um, etc. So we came up with the idea of a three-year campaign. 
so that people would know that during the coming three years, the theme of the campaign would remain the same. However, actions and events could really evolve over the next three years. So this is really an opportunity for everyone to plan in advance and be able to put together um, large-scale projects if wanted. Um, so this is the reason why we came up with a three-year campaign, to be able to measure impact in a more efficient way. Thank you for your question, Irina. Uh, another question from Gino. Do we have some indicators to make evaluation on this campaign? Uh, so we talked about KPIs earlier on in the presentation. Basically, um, one of the KPIs I talked about was the opportunities to see, hear, or read about World Cancer Day. Um, we have all the number of press mentions around the world, the number of tweets, the number of social media impressions, uh, the number of visits on worldcancerday.org on the day and around the day for impact. We also have um, the number of events that are registered on the map of impact that are clear uh, KPIs for us to determine how impactful the event was. So um, definitely that is why we asked you if you have the opportunity to share key figures with us on the impact you had in your country or in your region to please do so. So we have the most accurate figures that we can get in order for us to release uh, the World Cancer Day report. Thank you, Gino, for your question. Any other questions? Uh, I have a question from Anita from Germany. We would like to collaborate with UICC for our World Cancer Day activities. Is that possible? Yes, definitely. We really encourage our members, our partners, and anyone who would be interested to collaborate with UICC to share their plans with us so we can actually work something out. Uh, what has been done in the past, uh, we have we have been um, working on joint press releases. This is something that we can definitely do. We can have representatives of UICC going in your organizations and organizing presentations or um, awareness activities. Um, we have a lot of different options available, and this is something we can definitely talk um, offline. So I encourage you to also get in touch on that matter by sending us an email at info at worldcancerday.org. Uh, another question from Kelly. How do we request design files for the materials? Will they be available online? Uh, thank you, Kelly, for your question. Basically, the design files of the materials will not be available online. However, you can you can access them by sending us an email, always the same email address, info at worldcancerday.org, and just ask for the design files of, um, of the material you wish to receive, and then we will send you a link to a Dropbox or in an email, depending on the file size, and you'll be able to access the design files and then tailor the materials to your needs. So thank you, Kelly, for your question. Uh, we still have a bit of time, so really I encourage you to ask your questions if you do have any. Um, so some people actually are asking to see the poster. So what you can do right now, uh, you can access the World Cancer Day website, so www.worldcancerday.org, and go on the front page, 
and you will see that the poster is actually available for download right now. So if you have a look at the first uh, slideshow on the top, then the second box, actually, you can click on the link to download either the generic poster of the campaign or the individual posters, so the Weekend Influence poster or the I Can Love poster. Uh, this is something that you can already download and then share on social media to your network. Uh, another question from Kelly, are there limitations to what we can do to tailor the materials with our own branding? Uh, basically, not. Our reasoning behind that is that we consider World Cancer Day as the world's biggest creative common campaign. So the more creative you want to be with the poster, the better. You can tailor it. You can change the colors, the shape. You can change the wording. You can add your logo. You can remove some key messages and add some of them that really fit with your organization's needs. Uh, we put together this campaign as a support and give a direction to organizations and corporations and individuals. However, we really encourage anyone to put their own stamps on the materials. And this is something that has worked quite well in the past. And uh, we, we definitely do encourage people to do that. Thank you for your question. Uh, another question from Irina. How can we contact you to help with translations? Uh, same as mentioned before, basically just send us an email at info at worldcancerday.org and mention translations of materials in the subject line of your email. Uh, we have another question from Clara. Will the UICC support any fundraising activity that might take place on World Cancer Day? Uh, basically, we promote all the activities that are taking place on World Cancer Day through the map of impact. This is the way that we use for people to actually know what's going on and what's happening uh, on the day around the world. This is a great opportunity for you to showcase what your plans are. And many organizations who have planned fundraising activities register their events on the impact map. Um, a lot of media are using that map to get some interview requests and get in touch with the organizations to learn more and maybe cover, um, cover the events. So this is how we support any fundraising activity. We also support a few events by sharing them on social media and sharing the plans. If, for example, uh, your organization's Twitter account, on your Twitter account, you promote the event that you plan for the day, um, make sure that UICC is following you. And then we can actually relay the information on our social media channels. So we always try to promote everything that our members are organizing to mark World Cancer Day. Um, any other questions? Okay, so I don't think we have any more questions. Thank you to all participants and all the great questions that have been asked. I'm sure it was really helpful to many of you who were online today. Thank you for dialing in and for um, watching this webinar. We really hope it was helpful for you. Uh, just a quick reminder of how you can get in touch with us. So as mentioned a few times during this presentation, you can draft us emails uh, at info at worldcancerday.org and visit the website worldcancerday.org. 
You can also have a look at the Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash World Cancer Day, and also subscribe to the World Cancer Day newsletter using this URL. Uh, just a quick reminder that the presentation will be available just after this call. So in an hour or so, we will send the PDF of the slides, including this link to subscribe to the newsletter in an e-blast and we'll also feature it on the front page of uicc.org, on worldcancerday.org and on our social media platforms. The recording will also be available for anyone who is interested. So if you need anything in the meantime, please feel free to get in touch using any of those platforms. We thank you again very much for participating into the webinar and we wish you a great day. Thank you.